Our paper focus on uh, uh, how do firms from Senegal learn by exporting uh, or export by learning, evident from Senegal. And we do this work with collaboration of GIA. Okay. As it was discussed previously, international trade benefits the trade partners through exposing country to the knowledge of their trading partner. And the learning by exporting effect may be important at both country level, but also at the individual level in the firm. And this presumption of learning by exporting effect appears then to be one of the main justification of behind the government export policy, uh, mainly in Africa. And Senegal, like as many African countries, after the access to uh, independence, abandoned his involved look, uh, looking protectionist development strategy adopted during the 1980 uh, years for more open trade program. And this as a reaction to the failure of previous import substitution industrial policy. And, but however, since now, there is no evidence of the testing the effect of trade openness on the firm efficiency. And uh, when, as it is discussed, when we talk about the relation between productivity and trade, this can go both sides. Uh, does export experience uh, improve firm efficiency or are the most efficient firm most likely to become exporter? And we investigate this question by look, looking the causal link between exporting and productivity at the manufacturing Senegalese firm. And we use firm level data for 1998 and 2011. And this is the, a unique panel data because it was not already uh, get from since now. And we account for all this endogeneity <coughs> Ingenuity and self-selection by this following an approach similar to Big Stone and would allow us to jointly estimate both the equation of productivity and the decision to export controlling for as an observed effect. And our main funding indicates evidence of both self-selection and the most of the most efficient firm in the export market, but also a learning by exporting in the market. And we find also some aspects that still skill and access to intangible uh, assets like brevet and license have a high effect on the process of learning. And also foreign-owned firm learn more from exporting as well also firm, small firm, seem to learn uh, particularly from exporting. Uh, the outline of our presentation will have a briefly overview of the Senegalese economy, the main episode of the industry policy in Senegal, and the methodology we use to estimate the learning by exporting effects, the result and some conclusion and what we plan to do in the next step. This is quickly, when you see this table, you see that the tertiary services uh, activity are contribute more to the GDP, and the secondary industry activity uh, contribute around 25% of the GDP. And uh, this is what we have here. And when we see which sector are driving the growth, we see that the tertiary sector are the most driven sector of the growth, and the secondary uh, sector uh, contribute not too much to the uh, growth GDP. And when we focus to the industry in Senegal, we see that the most uh, activity are on food industry, followed by uh, the mechanical uh, industry, and textile, who occupied a big uh, place in the Senegalese uh, economy, lost plus uh, by the years. Because of the independence, it was most industry, uh, textile uh, 
industry, but after it become, uh, it have a low contribution. And I will not uh, focus too much. What we can learn about the uh, politics, uh, political industry in Senegal that it become by protectionism with higher tariff and non-tariff protection for industry and this to boost the firm for exporting. But after this have not good result, this we see that uh, the competitiveness was not uh, very strong. It was very weak and the government cannot at finally support all this uh, activity to support the firm by exporting. And after this, with the adjustment structural policy, we see there is uh, more difficulty for firm to survive, and there is many was closed, and there is many lost of employment uh, at the firm, uh, industry firm level, manufacturing. And after the two, thousand uh, years, we see that there is more organization policy in Senegal, and this there is, you can see this there is many agency was created by the government to support uh, the development of the firm, uh, particularly to push them to export. And how we deal to analyze the relation between exporting and productivity, we take account the fact that most of the common problem which when testing the effect of uh, exporting is endogeneity and sample selection basis. And because of this, uh, we use this original uh, approach uh, dealing with this. And we assess this link using a function of production, a cop de glass one, and we involved jointly estimation of dynamic productivity and a dynamic discrete choice for decision to export, and where we allow the causality running both together, and we use uh, also the strategy to control for unobserved heterogeneity in the form of firm-specific effects that are controlled across the two equations. And also what we do here, we calculate, we use the TFP indicator as a, a a variable to measure the firm efficiency. And we uh, derive this, uh, initially this TFP at the first step before estimating together the self-selection and learning by exporting. And this is how the form of the equation and the different step, first the Cobb Douglas, we derive the TFP estimation and we use the state fee estimation as a function to explain uh, the learning by exporting. And there is lack of variables, the TFP, and uh, it depends also or of exporting and also some characteristic of the firm. And this characteristic, there are standard characteristic, age, size, but also we have the opportunity in this data to take care of about the skill of the worker, we introduce this in the uh, characteristic of the firm and also foreign capital, capital labor, but also we have information on access to innovation and access to license and brevet. And how we account for endogeneity, we already talked this, we use a, a probit function for the decision to export with this characteristic and also we estimate these two equations using a JMM system and one step procedure using stata bond common we have get from uh, the, the code. And we use also unbalanced panel data to account for the movement of entry and exit of the film in the exporting market because just now we'll show the data and we'll see that this movement and exit and entry is very important in the data we have. I think I wrote it early. In the second set step, what is you only do? And also this data, just have a look. It is, we have 14 uh, years and after cleaning we have uh, uh, 1,177 manufacturing firm, 
and we have a uh, lot of observation, including exporter and non-exporter. And here we can see that uh, how this is uh, uh, repartition between the firm and buyer. And you see that year by year, the number of firm in the data set are not the same. That means there is exist an entry of firm. And just uh, have a big look of, uh, we, we uh, do the export study, distinguish never export, permanent export, single entry, single exist, and the switch. And the single entry is the firm, once they enter, who enter in the export market after the first year, but uh, they did not go out from the exporting market. The single exist can enter any years in the period, but once they exist the export market, they did not come back again. And the switch are firm who are moving uh, in the export market. And you can see that the switch firm has important, so it is important to take care of this uh, movement in using unbalanced panel data at this moment. But when uh, Dr. Round present, we can see that there is other methodologic uh, approach we can use to improve, to take care of this uh, uh, aspect in the testing the learning. So this is just to see in the different uh, sector how we can appreciate the different category of firm entry, single entry, switch, permanent, and with never export. And this is the result we can get. But globally, we can see that many of our variables are significant, and the relation we have are expected. And we can see it more here. At the self-selection level, we can see a strong persistence of the previous exporter firm in the export market. That means there is learning by exporting, and the significance is uh, fine. We can see also that the coefficient of lagged export study variable is positive, and meaning that high and highly significant. That means that uh, there is a strong persistence of the previous exporter firm in the export market. And also, the variable on skilled worker, uh, the coefficient is positive. That means that skill have a positive effect on the probability to export. And also, firm who access to brevet and license have uh, increased the probability to export. Also, the size have a positive impact, uh, have no effect on the decision to export. That means it's not the big uh, firm who was exporting. And at the learning by exporting effect, we see also there is an evidence of learning by exporting. So the relation go both together. And exporting firm also can acquire external knowledge through uh, various channels in the exporting market. For example, foreign uh, owner, we see there is a positive effect on the uh, learning by exporting. And also skilled worker, this very coefficient is positive. And this result suggests that firm with skilled worker are more, uh, with skilled worker are more able to reap the benefits of expositive to export markets than the other firm. And also access to license uh, have higher gain of efficiency in exporting. And the size, the coefficient is negative. That means that small firm seem to particularly learn more by exporting. And what we can see is that with, with the size of, uh, of the firm, it can confirm what the government in Senegal is implementing to support the small firm with many kind of uh, uh, agency which help them to access to credit, to also uh, have some uh, agglomeration which is established in Dakar and other regions to help small firm to export and to Im improve their productivity. And in terms of policy implication, we can see Senegal manufacturing have much more to learn by 
promoting its manufacturing scene towards exporting. So this is uh, a first idea we can, a fourth policy implication we can draw from the finding. And by increasing the ability of domestic firm to overcome foreign market barrier as well assimilated fewer benefits arising from exporting. And what we uh, see this positive effect of skill, both on the decision to export and also by learning by, by exporting, we can uh, drive these policy impl implications that the government could help developing curriculum into college and senior secondary school or other training programs that able uh, company to have the skills they need in, the, in their process and this can help them to more exporting. And this can be in line with the discussion the government have with the leader of the firm, taking that there is not a conversion that, uh, on what they are learning at the university and what the firm needs in terms of, uh, of skill. And the government have many problems at the university now because not enough research and very big number of students. And in the last debate I follow, the firm leader asked the government to establish program with school less heavy than university and this can bring skills they need. And also in terms of access of brevet, there we have in Senegal some uh, uh, we have some uh, society or some uh, department of the ministry who take care of license in terms of uh, in the agro-industry sector, but still now there is difficulty for small firms to access to brevet and license. And we think that government maybe have, can have some strategy to facilitate access to brevet or, and license to small firm and maybe uh, give some subsidy to access to this. And finally, also, we have there is support to favor to the small and medium firm uh, to strengthen their productivity gain on the external market. And the initiative already under, understanding favor to the small plant might be continued by the government or almost it can go further for this to help a small firm to improve their, to avoid barrier to uh, access to export, uh, exporting and to improve their productivity. Uh, in the next step, we plan, GN and me, to revisit the TFP estimation because at this moment, uh, use, uh, estimating the TFP, we deflate the TFP, but we use the indices of deflator at the uh, global level. But we, are, we know that we might do it at the sectorial level, and maybe this can improve the estimation. And we also uh, plan to use as an approach testing the learning by exporting, like propensity score matching. Just, this is just an exercise of uh, uh, sensibility analysis. And when we do it, we can see if uh, the result will change or it will be confirmed. This is just a methodological way to do. Thank you very much. <laughs>